everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I've been loving through the month of February and actually January as well and probably December. I don't know when I did a monthly favourites video last time. So since the last video, I'm going to link it down below actually if you want to check it out. Since that last video, these things that I'm going to be showing you today, they are my favourites since that video. So without making the video extremely long, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start with beauty favourites just like I always do. So the first thing I've been really really loving this month has been the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I did a tutorial with it last... Well, my last video was like a tutorial using this palette because I've been using it on a daily basis. And I'm just loving it so much. It has so many pretty shades and shades that I usually go for. So like nudes and then it has loads of like amazing shimmers right here. And I think you can just create such amazing like looks with this. Whether it's like an everyday look to like a nighttime look. So I really really love it. For the nighttime look I've been really enjoying using this colour which is Cherry Cordial and it's so so pretty. My like my eyeshadow today is this palette as well. So I really really like it and if, you, if you're looking for like a high end um, eyeshadow palette I would definitely say pick this one up first because you can just create so many looks with it and it has every shade that you're ever going to need probably. <laughs> The next beauty item is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is a brow gel basically and this one is in the shade medium to dark and it has this little spoolie. It kind of reminds me of the Benefit Gimme Brow just because of the size of the brush. It's so so good. It's probably the best eye, um, eyebrow gel I've ever used and I always used to like, which one did I like? The Maybelline... I can't remember what it's called now, but it was like a Maybelline brow gel, and I really, really like that. But this is winning. This is so, so good. So if you haven't tried it yet, or if you're on the lookout for a new brow gel or something, pick this one up. I almost hit myself in the eye. Pick this one up because it's so, so good, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this when I run out. Next, I have two lip products, and they are the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cool Girl which just looks like this. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. And I'm gonna swatch it for you. This is what it looks like. It's so good. And it obviously dries matte and it doesn't leave my lips like dry or anything. It's amazing. It's probably like the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried. And this is the only shade I have of the Too Faced Melt It Matte liquid lipsticks but I'm definitely going to have to buy a lot more shades because it is my favourite thing ever. I've been using it constantly. I'm not actually wearing it today. Today I'm wearing the uh, Kat Von D Lolita 2 liquid lipstick with this um, lip gloss which is the MAC lip gloss in Lust. Again it's a gorgeous shade. I showed it in my London haul and in my previous video because I used it in my previous video but this is what it looks like. They're literally the perfect shades for each other and it just looks really nice and glossy so I have that on top of my Lolita 2 um, liquid lipstick but yeah those two have been my go-to lip products for the past month and I'm definitely going to keep using them for the next couple of months. <laughs> the next thing I've been really really enjoying using is this Body Shop Red Musk Fragrance Mist. It looks like this I got it in the December kind of like goodie bag that they had. Not a goodie bag, it was like a bundle kind of of cosmetics and it was like 10 things for 20 something pounds or something like that. I can't really remember right now. But it came in this and I've been using it since December and I've only like used this much, which is crazy because I've been spraying it all over myself constantly. This is so good. I don't know, I don't really like sweet perfumes. I'm so bad at describing scents anyway, so bear with me. With red musk and spices. So maybe that's why I like it because it's super spicy. It's not like Christmas or anything. It's not sweet whatsoever. Um, it's kind of like, it reminds me of something that I would wear like on a night out. I don't know, it just smells amazing. It's probably like my favourite body spray ever. 
It kind of has like a hint of vanilla in it as well. So it says here on the website that it's a light, fresh version of our distinctly different fragrance, combining spiced musk with hot notes of cinnamon and intense tobacco. It's like cinnamon and vanilla I can smell. I don't know why, but it's so, so nice. So <clears throat> if you like scents like this, definitely pick that one up because it's so amazing. Or at least go into the store and like smell it because... You're going to love it. I also have another thing from the body shop and it is the intense and protective hand cream. It looks like this. And it comes in like this metal kind of packaging. I'm, I have to say I'm not a fan of the scent. It smells, it smells like green tea. Maybe if you like green tea, you'll like it. I like green tea, but I just don't really like the smell of it, like the scent of it. I don't know. It just smells really like herbal, I guess. But if you like go past the scent of it, it's amazing. It's so good for your hands. Like it leaves my hands super soft. And I've been like, I have like dry hands like for the past couple of months for like winter time. I always have them. So this has been a must have in like my makeup bag or like my sleepover bag or whatever, just because they get so dry and if I put this on, they're not dry for the whole day. So it's so, so good. It's super like moisturizing and it says it's for hardworking hands. But yeah, as I said, I'm not a very like big fan of the scent, so. Another beauty thing that I've been really enjoying using is the Essie Top Coat. I know this is random because usually I show nail polishes, not just clear top coats. But this is what it looks like. So it's just a clear nail polish. And I really, really like it just because I painted my nails last night, but can you see how shiny they are? They're usually not that shiny if I just use the nail polish, but I've been putting this on over like all my nail polishes and I really, really like the like how shiny it makes my nails look. They look like they're like gel nails or something, like shellac or something, but yeah, I really, really like it. And again, it makes my nail polish stay for a really long time. And I really, really love it. So if you're on the lookout for a good top coat, make sure you check out the Essie one because I really recommend it. I have two skincare products that I've been really liking, so I'm going to show you them now. So the first one is this Liz L Super Skin Concentrate for Night. So it's basically like a visibly plumps and smooth. So it's like an oil. It has organic rose hip. Rose hip? I don't know how to read that. Is it rose hip? <laughs> um, it has argan oil and neroli oil, whatever that is. But it, like, it's so so nice. Roll over face and neck, breathe in the aroma and massage into massage in an upward and outward motion. Now relax and let the super skin concentrate for night work its magic. It's really really nice. Again, you can only have to use like a tiny bit at a time. I'm only like this much of like. On, off the top and it's so good so you just massage it like on your hands you basically put it on your hands massage your hands together and then like kind of work it into your face and it's just very like kind of it feels very really luxurious in a way it just makes me feel like I'm in a spa or something just because it smells really amazing it smells oh, what does it smell like I wish I was better at describing scents I really wish it just smells really like herbal and floral, I guess. But yeah, it leaves my like face so like plump and I don't know, soft and oh, it just it just feels amazing. Like if I put this on 5 minutes later, I like rub my face and I'm just like, oh. So it's so nice. If you're looking for like an oil, my oil, then bake sh bake Make sure you check this one out because I really, really like it. The last skincare product that I have here is the Lush Rub 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 Shower Scrub. It looks like this. I've used it a couple of times now since I got it and I love it so much. It's so, so nice. It's blue, as you can see. It smells so good. I don't know, it just smells like bubbles, like bubble ice cream or something. Do you know that bubble ice cream? The blue one? Bubble gum ice cream? Does anybody else like that? I feel like I shouldn't like it because it's like very childish. But it's so nice. So this smells like that and oh, I don't know, it just leaves my skin so soft and it's not like, um, I, I was gonna say I don't want to touch it now because I'll get all over me but I just did. 
it's kind of like a sugar scrub so it's not um it's not harsh or anything it's really like gentle and i really really like it i'm definitely going to be repurchasing this again because it's so so nice oh it's not sugar it's fine sea salt but again it's so like so like fine that it's not like harsh or anything on your skin what's in here um fine sea salt lemon juice jasmine flower infusion mimosa absolute orange flower absolute mm -mm. citrus and that's kind of it but it really doesn't smell that citrusy i don't think it smells like bubble gum Oh, so nice and, and it's really like refreshing as well so when like you scrub your body with this you just feel all clean and everything so I've been really really enjoying this so if you're looking for a shower gel check this one out because it's amazing I'm definitely repurchasing this after I finish this one another thing that I've been really enjoying using are the Zoeva brushes I used them in my last video again but I love them so much excuse this one because this one's dirty because I just used it but all the other ones I washed and I kind of stopped myself from using them this morning. <laughs> oh, we lost a brush. So it comes with a silk finish brush. It comes with a powder brush, a face shape brush, a luxe sheer cheek brush, concealer buffer, luxe petite crease and a luxe soft definer. I love these brushes so much. They're probably the softest thing ever, especially like if you wash them regularly and take care of them. So, so nice and they apply makeup amazingly. I really love this brush, this eye brush. It's the Look Soft Definer. It's really like big kind of. Can you see that? So it gets perfectly like in your inner corners and on the like outer parts of your eyelid. So, so nice. So if you're looking for any like high-end kind of brushes or if you want to invest in some ni nice brushes, definitely check out Zoeva's brushes because, again, they're so nice. And you can get different colors. These, this is just the like brown and rose gold um, version of them, but I think they have like black and silver ones as well. So yeah, check them out if you're on the lookout for some brushes. I have one food favorite of the month and it is the Nature Valley Sweet and Nutty chocolate bar basically well it's not a chocolate bar it's like a granola bar but it has like chocolate chunks in it these are so nice I know they're probably not the best for you but they've been my like little treat snack of the month and I really really like them there's also like a peanut butter protein version or something like that and I really like them as well but I kind of ate them all so they're gone <laughs> Can we just talk about Primark or Pennies, whatever you want to call it? Can we talk about their lingerie collection right now? It's so good. It's something like you'd see in River Island or I don't know, like something really high end. So nice. I know I mentioned these in my haul, but I just wanted to show you them again in case you haven't seen them and in case you haven't been in Primark or something like that. But this is what you can find in Primark right now. So nice, look at that detail. That's what they look like. They just have like lacy details, flowers. How nice is that? And then here's another one. I've been loving these. They're so comfortable to wear and I literally will wear them under anything and everything. <laughs> so, so nice. I really need to pick up more colors like I need to go and get them now in case everybody like buys them or something but they're literally so good with their like bralettes and everything right now they never had anything like that before and they usually had like one bralette and but they'd be like sold out everywhere all the time but they're so so good right now they have such a big collection of them so if you're looking for any pretty like lacy bralettes then make sure you check them out because they're amazing. There's so many that I want, but obviously I can't buy them all. Maybe I will. Hmm. Another kind of fashion favorite that I've been really, really enjoying using is my Kate Spade bag. I'm going to leave a link down below of my what's in my bag video. And I mentioned this bag in it, so you can see what it looks like in more detail. But I've been really, really enjoying like carrying it around with me. I probably carry it around with me a lot 
and I probably should just like get another bag for an everyday bag because I carry this with me to college and like on the like trams and buses and everything and I probably should kind of get another one just so like because I'm constantly afraid of this that I'm gonna like scratch it or something so I'm just like carrying it like this basically well no I'm not but you know what I mean I'm gonna actually get one in Primark or Pennies and have it for like an everyday bag because I don't want to ruin this and I can have this as my special bag weekend bag or something so yeah I've been really enjoying using this it's the perfect size it fits everything that I ever would need it even fits like a bottle of water and like my college um college notepad and everything like that so I really really like it and yeah I'm gonna link down below the video that I did about it so you can check it out in more detail I need a drink now because I feel like my throat, I feel like I sound really weird. I have two more favourites and they're like random favourites I guess. The first one is Gilmore Girls. I've been watching it since the middle of February I think. And I'm currently on season 6 episode 4. <laughs> I know, I've been watching, <clears throat> what's wrong with my voice? I've been watching it everywhere. Once I get ready, I'm watching it. I'm... Uh, folding away washing I'm watching it I literally watch it constantly whenever I can I put it on even if I don't finish the whole episode I still watch a little bit of it and then I catch up later it's so good if you don't watch it or you've never watched it before please go and watch it I didn't want to watch it either but then I was like hmm I was one day just sitting on my bed and I was just like I want to watch something and I just put it on on Netflix and since then I haven't stopped watching it and I'm on season six episode four and there's only seven seasons eight seasons I think there's like seven and then there are like four episodes or something so I really really love it I'm really sad that I'm coming to an end of it because I don't want it to end but I guess I really need it to because I need to get my life back I literally just binge watch it so I really really like it please watch it if you love um, Pretty Little Liars I'm pretty sure you're going to like Gilmore Girls because I'm obsessed with Pretty Little Liars. I can't wait till it gets back. Whew, till it gets back, till it's back on. And yeah, if you like it, you're probably going to like Gilmore Girls because it's so, so good. So the last thing that I wanted to mention is my two favorite YouTubers at the moment and kind of of all time because I've been watching them for so many years now and I love them so much. I think I mentioned them before, but I'm going to mention them again because I'm loving their videos right now. So the first person is Gabriella or Ver Velvet Ghost. I don't know if she still goes by that, but Gabriella Lindley. I'm really, really loving her vlog channel right now. So if you haven't checked her out, I'm pretty sure you follow her already. But if you don't, please go and follow her and tell her I sent you. She probably, she doesn't have any clue who I am, but tell her I sent you anyway. And yeah, please go and watch her. She's so amazing. And her videos are like so funny sometimes. And yeah, she's just such a good, amazing person. And the second video, video, the second person that I've been really enjoying watching on YouTube is Rhiannon Ashley, and especially her vlogs. I love her main channel videos as well, but she uploads more vlogs than main channel videos. So I'm gonna show you her vlog channel. This is what it looks like. So it's just Rhiannon Ashley vlogs. I'm going to link both of them down below if you haven't checked them out already. Again, you probably follow Rhiannon because she's so, so good. I love her little daughter. She's so cute. And she's, I like, I've been watching her. I've been watching Rhiannon for years. But, like, it's so nice to see her little girl just, like, grow. And she's, like, sitting up now. And she's, like, rolling over and talking, I think, now. So she's, like, saying hello and everything. So it's so, so cute. And I just love videos like these that you can see people grow in them. So, yeah, I'm going to link both of those channels down below if you haven't checked them out already. And that's everything that I've been loving through the month of February. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you have been loving through the month of February because I would love to know. Yeah, let me know. Let's have a chat down below because I don't know. I feel like I haven't, I'm not kind of talking to you guys. But yeah, I would also like to do a Q&A someday. I feel I will do it a, like in a while, I guess, because I don't know. I just think I wouldn't get so many questions yet because not that many people watch me. But I would really like to do it, so if you have any questions for me, anything at all, 
comment down below and I will answer them in a future video but I'm just gonna like write them down in a notebook or something for the future but yeah if you have any questions comment down below let me know what your favorites were of the month because I would love to know and I will see you all in my next video bye oh I just went like this and now I have lipstick on both of my hands clever very very clever